Hey there, car enthusiasts. Have you ever heard of the 1965 Ford Experimental Wrist Twist Steering System? If not, you're in for a treat. In this video, we'll explore the innovative concept behind this experimental technology and take a closer look at the 1965 Ford promo film showcasing it. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on more automotive history like this. Back in the mid-1960s, Ford was experimenting with all sorts of new technologies to improve the driving experience for its customers. One of the most interesting concepts to come out of this era was the wrist twist steering system. This experimental technology was designed to make steering easier and more comfortable for drivers by allowing them to turn the wheel with a simple flick of the wrist, and Ford even produced a promotional film to showcase this new concept. This experimental technology was designed to make steering easier and more comfortable for drivers by allowing them to turn the wheel with a simple flick of the wrist, and Ford even produced a promotional film to showcase this new concept. The wrist twist steering system was a cutting-edge technology created by Ford in 1965 with the goal of improving the driving experience for its customers. The system allowed drivers to turn the steering wheel with a simple flick of the wrist, making steering easier and more comfortable than ever before. To achieve this, Ford utilized a unique mechanism that connected the steering wheel to the car's steering system, enabling drivers to make turns and maneuvers with minimal effort. By simplifying the steering process, the wrist twist steering system was intended to reduce fatigue and strain on drivers, providing a more convenient and intuitive driving experience. The wrist twist steering system relied on a unique mechanism that made turning the steering wheel effortless for drivers. The system consisted of a small device attached to the steering column that translated the driver's wrist movements into the car's steering system. The device worked by using a series of gears and pulleys that amplified the rotational force generated by the driver's wrist, making it possible to turn the steering wheel with just a flick of the wrist. When the driver turned the steering wheel with their wrist, the mechanism converted the rotational force into a linear force that was then transmitted to the car's steering system. This allowed the driver to make quick turns and maneuvers with minimal effort, reducing the strain and fatigue associated with traditional steering systems. The wrist twist steering system was developed in response to the growing demand for more comfortable and convenient driving experiences. At the time, many drivers were complaining about the strain and fatigue associated with traditional steering systems, which required them to use their arms and hands to turn the wheel. Ford saw an opportunity to improve the driving experience by developing a new technology that would make steering easier and more comfortable for drivers. The 1965 Ford promo film was a brief yet compelling video that introduced the world to the innovative wrist twist steering system. The film showcased a specially designed prototype vehicle fitted with this experimental technology, demonstrating how effortless it was to use. The video featured a demonstration of the system in action, highlighting its key benefits including improved comfort, convenience and safety. Through this film, Ford aimed to create a buzz around this groundbreaking technology and generate excitement among car enthusiasts. The video provided a glimpse into the future of automotive technology and showcased Ford's commitment to innovation and excellence. By showcasing the wrist twist steering system in this film, Ford set a new standard for steering systems, highlighting the importance of intuitive and effortless driving experiences. What happened to the wrist twist steering system? Despite its promising design and potential benefits, the wrist twist steering system unfortunately never made it to production vehicles. There are several reasons why this could be the case. Firstly, the system was still in the experimental phase, and it is possible that Ford faced some technical difficulties that made mass production impractical. Moreover, there may have been concerns about the system's safety, reliability, or ability to comply with regulatory standards. Another potential factor could be the cost of the technology. Given that the wrist twist steering system was a novel and experimental concept, it could have been prohibitively expensive to produce on a large scale. Furthermore, it is possible that market demand for the technology wasn't strong enough to justify the investment needed to make it viable. While the wrist twist steering system may not have made it into production vehicles, it remains an interesting piece of automotive history and a testament to the spirit of innovation and creativity that has long been a hallmark of Ford. And that's a wrap. Thanks for tuning in, and don't forget to hit that subscribe button.